Hello, I'm Jessica for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Chrome 92 is now in beta. The new file handling API lets you declare web apps as file handlers for files you create and process. File handling is starting an origin trial in 92 that is expected to run until around the end of August. There's also a new origin trial for shared element transitions, which allows a simple set of transitions to enhance the visual polish of pages with minimal effort. There are tons of new features in Chrome 92 beta, so check out the post to find out more. Chrome 92 also introduces a highly requested feature for DevTools. You can now preview an author CSS grid with the new CSS grid editor. Here, you can preview the potential changes with the on-screen icons and author the grid appearance with just one click. Other new DevTool features include support for constant variable redeclaration in the console, a source order viewer, and the experimental protocol monitor to view all CDP requests and responses. Check out the post for all that's new in the DevTools in Chrome 92. We've launched Open Source Insights, which provides an interactive view of the dependencies of open source projects. By entering your open source package, the tool provides a visualization of a project's dependency and their properties. Our exploratory website can be used to get an overview of how a particular software package is put together and shows you all the information about a package without asking you to install the package first. Check out the post for more details and link to the Open Source Insights. For Go developers, native Fuzzine is ready for beta testing in its developmental branch. Fuzzine is a type of automated testing which continuously manipulates input to a program to find issues such as panics or bugs. You can reach edge cases and it's particularly valuable for finding security exploits and vulnerabilities. Learn how to get started and contribute to the testing of Fuzzine by checking out the blog post. In the world of smart home, proactive notification and follow-up responses were launched at Google I.O. Now you can alert users to an event that has occurred without them proactively issuing a request through the assistant. This is available on several traits like object detection, run cycle, and sensor state. Check out the guide, examples, and video in the blog post below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Jessica for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I also like that you're basically just camouflaged with your backdrop. Oh, am I? Well, there you go. I belong in the plants now. Yes. <laughs>